What's up, Wayne Barron here with our new video for Coding Shorts. It's been a very long time since I've put anything up on this channel. And since I'm redesigning the CFFCS.com website, I thought that I would go ahead and start posting videos to this channel. And this is the very first one I'm gonna be doing here. And this comes from a question that was asked on our Dark Effects channel. Okay, so this is the question right here. Using that backup, do you know how to use the backup and restore it to another machine? I have many sites on my IIS on a 2016 server and looking for a faster way to put the same sites on my 2019 server that I am switching to or I will have to recreate them all settings. So let's go ahead and jump into this. We're going to do everything as I showed in that video plus the restore. Now I'm not going to type out everything. I'm going to copy and paste all this information to be found in the description below. So the first thing we're going to do is that we're going to create the backup, which is going to put it inside of our backup folder structure right here, which is our C drive, Windows, System32, INET, Serve, Backup. And then we're going to have it copy that information over to our G drive, Backup, IIS, Backup. So we're going to do this all in one clean swoop. And so that's going to be just like this right here. As you can tell, we just created that backup here and here. Now, if we go inside the folder, this has got all of our information here. All of our information is here. Now, as you can tell, we've also got PowerShell open here. We're going to do the same thing inside of PowerShell. Okay, so we're going to create our backup inside of PowerShell. Copy, paste it, and we should have a backup should be created right there. Now we're going to copy that backup over to here. Hit enter, and we should have it right there. So that's right there. It's got our backup right there. So that is our PowerShell, and this is our command prompt. Now, what we want to do is that we want to do a restore. So during our restore, I'm just going to paste this in here. So our restore is app command, restore, backup, and then our backup, which is the 324-2022. Then we're going to sit, we're going to click enter. So we need to get inside of our INET server. So we need CD inside of our INET server. Now we can run this command here. And what it's doing right now is it's restoring and it's also stopping and then restarting. So it restored the configuration from backup to here. Now we're gonna come over here. We're gonna do the same exact thing over inside of our PowerShell. So let's go ahead and copy it in here. So it's restore dash web configuration and the name is PS0324-2022, which is what this is right here. However, this does not give us a confirmation, which I really, really hate. I really wish it would give us a confirmation, but it does not give us a confirmation. Go apps, Microsoft. Let's go ahead and load information services. Come down here to our sites. Now this right here is just on my local system. So what we're gonna do is that we're just gonna get rid of this one. And we're gonna get rid of this one. And so let's see if we can actually get them sites back. So let's do this one one more time. Okay, let's go ahead and restore it. And let's see if it will or has restored it. So let's right click, let's refresh it. And there we go. So it does restore, it just does not give us a confirmation. But that is how we do a backup and a restore inside of Command Prompt as well as PowerShell. All right, I am Wayne Barron for Coding Source. Please subscribe, like, all that other good stuff. Y'all take care. Bye-bye.